Hey guys and girls, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Church Design Co. And today, I'm gonna walk you through my first uh, Squarespace template for churches called Simple Church. So I'm gonna go through all 14 pages and show you all the features and how easy it is to use. So if you're interested in building a church website with Squarespace, then stick around and check this out. Let's go. All right, let's dive into this. This is the Simple Church Squarespace template, and it comes with 14 pre-built pages ready to jumpstart your ministry from uh, full ministry pages to event pages to a dynamic sermons and messaging page that's set up to filter by date, by speaker, and by series. Um, so this right now you can get at Church Design Co., and you, it's designed so that you can easily go in, change, update your content, uh, change background images, change your branding, change your colors, and completely get a site that looks just like your church the easy way <laughs> with this template in Squarespace. So let's kind of dive in here. So first you'll notice you have a place for your logo. Um, it's super simple to change in Squarespace. Then we have your pages. So first up, um, I've designed this to start with your connect pages, which is all your ministry pages, because that's where a lot of people like to go when they're checking out church. Um, so you can duplicate these pages to create as many as you'd like. Uh, we also have all the about pages, who we are, what we believe, how to get in touch with us. Then we have events. We have the dynamic sermon page, the give, and then the ultimate plan your visit page. One mistake a lot of websites do is they don't give visitors or users on their site a next step. So what we wanna do is make sure all along the way we're giving our visitors the next place to go, which for us as a church is plan your visit. It's everything you need to know or would ever wanna know about coming to our church ahead of time. Um, so then if we if we dive on in here and start scrolling down, you notice that header has a cool animation just kinda of like goes away so you're like completely into the page. Uh, we have this section where we can have our message that really drives home who we are and how we can help. Then we have our times. You can change all this text to be whatever you want. And then again, we're going to try to get people to that plan your visit page. After that, we have a short intro that can go to an about page. Um, the cool thing about this template is you could just take off the section if you don't need it. You can change the colors. You can change the, the text super easy. Um, it's all meant to be an easy way for you to get your church online. Um, here we're just highlighting those connect groups. A lot of people want to know about the kids, um, student groups, and even life groups here. Then next on the home page is to explore the events and see what's going on in the community. So this, once you create your events in Squarespace, this actually gets automatically pulled in by the most recent. So you don't have to do anything but create events and boom, here it is. Next, we have the recent sermons. Um, so this is cool. You could highlight a sermon here, link to all the messages. Um, it's just a cool way to kind of keep people up to date in the latest sermon, but also drive them to the full collection of all your sermons. And at the bottom, you have a simple footer. You don't need to go crazy. It just says, you know, a quick statement of who you are, uh, a link to like your about page or your messages, if that's most important. And you got to contact us and your social, your your um, phone number, your email, anything you want to put there to help people have quick access to you. So let's check out some of these awesome ministry pages. So next we have Connect. Um, we'll see this is a kind of a grouping that holds all of our other pages. So if we just jump in the kids, uh, we already kind of customize it with some like boilerplate language to get you started. Of course, you can change any of this um, in the back end. Um, this little intro section, then it's cool. We can like break down, we can use these little blocks that are built in the Squarespace to kind of break down the different classes that we offer. Um, hey, a lot of people have a little intimidation, like what to do at first. So we can basically tell people exactly um, what to do when they first come. And then the FAQs, this is great to just show people those questions that you know you get over and over again those are important because that's what people want to know. That's like tested questions that we know people are interested in finding out. So we just know it here and let people know. And then at the bottom of each ministry page is a way that you can have an email, put a face behind the ministry. Um, someone can reach out to this person. 
Um, the other the other ministry pages are set up the same, and I've like kind of catered the content um toward that group. Um, the one that's different is life groups. So this is cool if you are a church that has a lot of different life groups. Um, basically, I just sit up based off of their location, but you could change this based off of like a topic of a life group. Um, here it's just the location and where these people are at, the home, the times, and then a quick link to just email um, that person if someone needs more information or if you want to do that. You could also just send this link to like a sign up form if you have a registration or your general church contact. Um, if you have like in a certain event, I just thought this would be a fun way um, to really like showcase like maybe this is like a monthly meetup for all um, small groups or they can come and do this morning coffee Devo. Of course, if you don't want this, you can just hit X, close it, get it out of the page. Um, if you don't want FAQs, same deal. Um, if you have a small group leader, this would be a great place to introduce them and kind of put them right here um, in the forefront. For about, I'm not going to go through all of these. You basically just have pages that I've created to help make it easy for you to swap out your content. So here we have like meet our senior pastors and then we have our team and you're probably going to have more team members. So you can just basically take this row and duplicate it and swap out the image and text. And there you go. You got your whole team page right there. Um, events. This is super cool. So Squarespace has events built in. They're beautiful. It's really everything that you would need. Um, to showcase, it's gonna list them from the most recent um, and then down. So as events happen, they're gonna go off the screen and the next most recent is gonna come up to the top. Um, if we dive in, you know, it's gonna give people a description, all the details over here. And then you have the ability, I created this button that you can link. If you have um, like a church management system, you can link to register that event um, or you can link this to an email. Um, or you can just take the button off and just have the event details. And it's very handy. It gives you like the next event in line um, so people can kind of uh, go through and check out different events. Now, the best part of this whole thing is the uh, sermons page. Um, it's cool because what, what I've done here is use default, like built-in Squarespace pieces, but I've um, set it up in a way that it works for churches. Um, which doesn't happen out of the box. So here we have all of our sermons that are going to get displayed. Um, it's a thumbnail, it's the title of the series, and it's the title of the sermon. And what I've done, though, is I've categorized and had a, have a filter now for each sermon. So each sermon, when you go to create it, you have the series, you have the speaker, and you have the date. So what we've done is make it so you can quickly allow people to filter on this page based off of um, what they're looking for. So you can see how we have all of these. If I'm just interested in um, the Psalms messages, then when I click this, this is going to then display the page, but now it only has those messages. And if I click on one, it's gonna take us to the actual page itself. So this is just a very simplified experience. Um, let the video like basically do all the talking. So you have the title, you have the series, you have the date, and then you have your video. And what's cool is you can also drop in an audio file right here. So not everybody wants to, to watch, some people want to listen. You can have message notes, your scripture. And then if there's more in that series, it's going to basically give them navigation so people can go on to read more of that story. So yeah, pretty sweet. Next we have Give. So you can change this side page up however you'd like. Um, I've kind of thought about for my ministry experience and working in leadership, um, there's usually like a few ways to give. So I just kind of outlined one here where you could link to like your online giving platform. You could, if there's like a text to give app, you could let people download the app or show them where that's at. And then in person, you can show people, you know, hey, we take money in person, uh, we take tithe and offering in person. Um, or you could have an address or a link to the to um, your ballots or contact page. And then um, just to have some fun, you can throw in some scripture, you can throw in a message, a video. You have a lot of um, ways, things that you can do on this page. It's very flexible. But finally, we get to the plan your visit page. 
So this is where new visitors are most likely going to check this out. Oh, let's see if we let's go back in full screen mode. Um, yeah, so here you have information about when your services are, a little message. Um, if you have multiple services, you know you can put those dates here. Get directions, welcome message. Now this is really cool. You can actually create a video like our friends here at the Creek Church. Check this out. So it's just a simple like welcome video. It's fun. It's happy. It's showing Hi, the people of the church. The um, it's an intro. Meet the pastor, and he actually gets in his car. He drives up. He talks about parking. Um, he talks about what happens when you come in. Um, where to go next. So it's super cool. Super cool. Um, then you can use these blocks that we had earlier on some of the ministry pages, and you can create little um, features for some cool things. I call it a few fun facts about our service. So kids groups available shows a picture of the kids uh, kind of classroom and then it links to the kids pages, fresh coffee bar. You know, you can go on and on. You can meet the pastors right here. You can have your FAQs. So this is very important. If any page, this is like the most important of where you can put FAQs. Um, a lot of people have questions. Where do I park? What do I wear? How's child care? You know, how do we do check-in? Um, all those good stuff all right here. And you could use a promo kind of like we did on the last page. But now we're just saying, hey, did we miss something? Is there something that that you um, have a question about that we did not address? What it could be stopping you from coming and visiting our church? Just ask us right here. And it's going to link to the contact form um, or it could link, open up the email um, so people can send you a message. Finally, to visit us, um, we have this section here where it's got... Uh, the map, the location, and it's got all of our information for quick contact. So as you can see, this is meant to be just a quick overview to kind of show you some of the thinking behind uh, the Simple Church Squarespace template. Um, it's super easy to use. It's clean. It's modern. Um, you just need to change your colors, your graphics, your, which is your images, and your text. And you have a brand new site ready to launch on Squarespace with all these amazing features. So stay tuned in some of the next videos, we're going to dive into actually making changes. I'm going to walk you through how you can um, completely customize the site for your church. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you check it out. Again, it's available at Church Design Co.